everybody and welcome to our next Channeling the Ascension Teachings. Today I'm going to be channeling Goddess Abundantia who basically personifies abundance and teaches how we can manifest abundance and we are joined by my lovely Patreon members. Hi guys. Hello. 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 So thank you all for joining. And um, before I bring her through for this channeling session, I'm just going to read out a pre-channeled message from her. So her message is, you are abundant in nature, as that is the nature of the true universe. And as you are the universe, the innate abundance is all raised within your essence. You manifest abundance in all its forms to you in relations to your energy vibration which is shaped by your beliefs of lack and separation. You allow abundance to be revealed to you within your reality through expanding your energy field with abundance frequencies encoded within. I wish to come through to guide you on the reprogramming of your energy signature to allow more abundance to flow to you within your manifested reality. Goddess Abundantina. All right, well, without further ado now, I'm going to go into trance and bring her through. We'll see you on the other side. Well, hello, Diwans. It is Abundantia coming through. It is I wanted to come through in this direct way to remember, to allow you to remember just how abundant you truly are, to remember that you are love. For Diwans, you are the universe. And because you are the, the universe, you are innately abundant. Abundance is who you truly are. You only perceive lack in your reality because you're attached to duality consciousness. You perceive a separated reality. And because you perceive a separated reality, you perceive lack. The experience of lack only exists in the third dimensional perspective. Lack only exists when you perceive separation, when you perceive duality, when you perceive that there is an, we would say, a limited supply of abundance. Abundance is limitless. If you wish to manifest more abundance in your reality, then you are tasked to see the oneness in all things, the love in all things. Understand that abundance is energy. You like to attach to abundance in terms of money. And because of these attachments, there is a lot of fear behind it. The fear of insecurity. The fear of you not having your safety net there. Because of all these fears that you have and these conditioned beliefs around financial abundance, you have adopted a certain belief system that is in the collective. And because you are brought up in, a, in this society, you've also adopted certain beliefs around abundance. And some of those beliefs relate to duality and relate to fear. And it pinches you off from the full flow of the universe moving through you. This belief that you have within you, that there can be lack. And because you have this belief, because it shows up in your reality, you perceive lack. But understand that everything that shows up in your reality, whether that's financial abundance or other forms of abundance, it's always for your highest good. And there is a reason why things are showing up in your reality. Yes, you can control your reality. You are God creators here. 
But before coming into this reality, you chose to explore certain themes in your reality. You chose to explore certain conditions. And those conditions propels you on a soul journey, propels you through certain stories within your physical reality. And some of those stories can be perceived as lack. But it's only to allow you to to ignite the passion within you, to head certain direction that perhaps you wouldn't take before if you had the abundance that you seek. Everything is occurring for you and for your evolution. It is trust that prevents you from that flow coming to you. If you do not trust the universe, if you do not trust the process, you're declaring to yourself and the universe that you are not abundant. It is the trust in who you are, the trust in the universe, where you allow the the full force of the universe to flow through you, to be the walking, talking voice of the universe. But you are to put it into action, do you want? It's not just about, we would say, shifting your vibration here. You are to be pushing through that fear, addressing that fear, and you're taking those inspired action steps. You cannot manifest all the abundance in front of you if you do not take those inspired actions. Yes, it takes work. It takes trust. It takes you stepping into the unknown, exploring new pathways. Yes, you'll be asked to explore unknown waters. And we know this challenges you. And because it challenges you, because that safety net and the fear of social persecution, the fear what others will think, the fear of you not knowing if you're going to be secure in your actions. This pinches you off from expressing those inspired actions. So if you want abundance to flow to you in a more effortless way, then take that action. That's how you manifest abundance. But for you to take those inspired action steps, you are to see the abundance already in your reality. Do you have food on your table? If you do, then you're abundant. You compare your reality with others and you judge if you're abundant or not when you compare yourself with others. But understand you do not know their soul journey here. You do not know why they're exploring the conditions that they're exploring. So let go of those comparisons. What abundance can you see in your reality? Do you have an abundance of air to breathe? Do you have abundance of nature around you? Do you have abundance of health? You like to attribute abundance to financial abundance, but these attachments is also related to lack. So it's about changing your beliefs, dissolving the fear and those conditions within you that tells you that money is limited, that you must fight for it, that you must struggle for money. Some of you also have beliefs that having too much money is somewhat unwanted. You may perceive that people with uh, what you might call as, you know, living in rich lifestyles, maybe they have an undesirable uh, personality. It's the, the belief that many of you have held is that money is the root of all evil. Some of you do hold this belief within you. It has been conditioned in your society to be humble, to give more than you receive. Yes. But it's about changing your perceptions to abundance. Some of you believe that when you receive money and people that have high amounts of money, it's corruptible. And you see uh, people in your greatest society with, with vast amounts of money and you judge them as evil or doing wrong to the people. How can you attract financial abundance when you have this belief? Because there's a part of you that sees having high amounts of abundance that can cause corruption. There is something undesirable about that. So look at your beliefs here. 
This is a, a, a limited way of expressing abundance, of seeing abundance. It relates to a lack mindset, a perception of duality, a perception of victimization. That is an illusion of who you are. Who you are is love, dear ones. Love is abundance. The universe is abundant. You are here to express that love. And as you step forward and express that love, the universe will provide you what you require to explore what you came here to explore. Do you have a passion? What is your guidance telling you to do? When you step 100 steps ahead without being in the present moment, you shut that flow of information coming through you because you ask yourself, how can you get to step 9, 10, 11 when you don't have the conditions? So you shut it down. You do not trust the first step. We are here to tell you is to, for you to live in the present moment. You only need to take step one. Yes, it's about taking blind faith, trusting the universe. You are so conditioned to control your reality, to know what's coming, to know that abundance is coming, to have proof of it. And when you don't have that proof, that guarantee, you give up that trust for the universe. Understand that you are not separate from the universe. You are the universe. You are all that is. Because you are source, you are the universe. How can you not be abundant? It's how you are perceiving abundance. If you were to look, you will find abundance in your reality. No matter what conditions you face in this present moment, you are abundant. There's always something that you can see in your reality that validates to you that you are abundant. If you can harness that emotion, if you can focus on abundance that you already have in your reality from a, from a physical point of view, that energy, that appreciation, opening your heart to it, feeling the gratitude to that will expand to other areas in your life and you will invest more abundance in other areas of your life because in that moment you trust the universe. You trust who you are. You trust your limitless abilities to manifest. And you trust there is much more going on here behind the scenes that perhaps you do not fully understand here. Everything is energy. The air you breathe is energy. The space between things, between objects is energy. There is no empty space here. All is energy, all is frequency. What affects your frequency are your beliefs around abundance, what it means to be rich, what it means to be poor, what it means to work for your money. There are many different beliefs in accordance to, in accordance to abundance here. It's a process of unlearning, dear ones, trusting, opening your heart. And it's not just actively changing your beliefs here you need to feel abundance how do you feel abundance by feeling joy you cannot manifest from your mind alone you need to feel abundant feel love feel gratitude it is the emotion that manifests more abundance to you when you practice gratitude you open your heart and you become the antenna for the universe and you allow more ideas, inspired ideas and guidance to come to you. You then open yourself to receive more abundance when you can be in a, in a vibration of gratitude. It opens you up. So what can you be grateful for today? What abundance can you be grateful for today? I want you to practice this, cultivate this. Instead of you seeing the lack in your reality, See the love in your reality. See how abundant you are in your reality. And it's in this mindset that increases your vibration. 
that allows more abundance to flow to you because the universe knows you're ready for the next step. The universe can't manifest something that you are not ready for, dear ones. So to be ready is to be vibrationally ready. And when you're vibrationally ready, then you will see magic. You'll experience magic. You'll experience what you call as miracles because you are magic. You are the universe. You are source. Raise your perception of who you think you are, of who others are. Everyone here is the universe. Those you judge is you. You are all that is. It's about seeing everyone from a point of oneness and unity consciousness. Understanding there is no lack in the universe. What abundance do you see? Do you see love? Do you see fear? What do you experience? What is your felt experience of abundance? Look at that. Your emotions tell you where your beliefs are in relations to abundance. When you can align yourself to the present moment, you can more easily ascertain where your beliefs are. Are you ready to allow the universe to flow through you? Trusty ones. And it's through the heart and trusting, elevating those heart frequencies. Where you declare to yourself and you declare to the universe that you are ready for the next step. And you take that inspired action, the first step, the universe responds. You respond, your high you responds, and you will receive what you need to then take that next step and the next step and the next step. You will not receive the abundance for step five if you have not done step one, two, three, and four. So be in the moment. Trust, yes. Step into the unknown because in the unknown, that's where the magic lies. That's where your true power lies, you one. So open your heart and your heart will lead the way. It is with such honor that we come through in this direct way to remind you of just how powerful you are and how abundant you are. Hello, Abundita. How are you? I am very well. Thank you, D1. So I'm so excited to talk to you because Kimberly and I believe that you were part of the group that Gary channels, the uh, Joshua group. Yes, D1. Understand that it's not by accident of the human connections here between you and Kimberly and others. We are creating a network. Mm -hmm. There is a network of what you refer to us as teachers. Ah. But understand that we are not stagnant in our energy. And we flow throughout the universe because we are you, D1. And yes, mm -hmm. we assist in, in who you refer to as Joshua. Just like those aspects are here today, flowing through Kimberly and all the channels and all of you, because you are energy. Understand there is no separation. We are you. We are in each and every one of you. D1. Many connections are being formed. Networks are being formed. People are being formed. It was together. just a little choppy. Um, yes, I feel, I feel it. I feel it. And um, I'm very excited because I'm very much so in the unknown. And I'm very excited that you said more magic. Because that's what I'm going for. More magic. Because it's fun. 
That is the key. Joy. Mm-hmm. Joy is the emotion of having fun. Joy is love frequency. It, there's a lightness of energy here, a trust here. The frequency of joy is abundance. Mm. So align yourself to the frequency of joy, gratitude, and then joy. Elevate that frequency. When you enjoy, you surrender more fully to the universe. Mm-hmm. And I'm really happy that you talked to me um, because the team is always talking to me too about phases and stages. Like you really have to do step one, two, three before you can receive the abundance of step five. And I think being here on earth, um, that is lost. That is not understood. So we, so What's interesting, lack is really the illusion, right? But we all experience lack, which is really the loss of love. Because everything, the pain and suffering that perceived by humans is really the exploration of the loss of love. And of course, abundance is in the frequency of love. And so when we experience lack, we're really experiencing the loss of love. And the phases and stages of the abundance, is it correlated to the phases and stages of the ascension? Because now I'm so excited about the ascension and I think like we need to experience lack because it's part of a stage of our evolution, of our development. And that if only, if I can help past these teachings to let others know that if you experience lack it is part of your evolution and it doesn't define you abundance is aligned to your dimensional experience lack Mm -hmm. is aligned to a third dimensional perspective of separation of duality duality Mm -hmm assists you in the collective because it catalyzes you. You see separation, it catalyzes you. It allows you to take certain soul journeys. So the lack of abundance is here for your evolution. There's right. nothing wrong. It's about you perceiving abundance from its oneness perspective. Mm-hmm. There's many conditioned beliefs that lack of abundance is wrong. And when you see the lack of abundance is wrong, you further attach yourself to duality consciousness, to right or wrong, to victimization. Mm. But Mm -hmm. if you can see the perfection in lack of abundance, that is your key because you know that while you might have a lack of, for, for instance, financial abundance, you can see that there's abundance in other areas of your life and then you'll understand that the universe it's moving through exactly how it's supposed to be. If it triggers mm-hmm. you, then it is for you. Perhaps it'll birth a desire for you to explore a certain avenue that perhaps you wouldn't explore previously if you had that certain level of desired abundance. So it is all for you for your evolution. It's about how you perceive duality and oneness, and that correlates directly to the abundance flow in your reality. Some of you chose to explore lack in a heightened perspective, your pre-birth attentions, your life purpose. Some of you explore, wanted to explore homelessness, let's just say. You might ask yourself, why would you want to explore homelessness? Because it's an experience. Abundance is your natural state of being. You choose certain conditions, themes in your reality. Yes, one of them might be homelessness. Perhaps it is you not being able to have a secure job. Is there a theme in your life that relates to abundance? Maybe it's abundance of a lack of abundance of food or other forms of abundance. 
but understand that all forms of lack of abundance is just an illusion of who you are, an illusion of your reality that allows you to explore certain soul lessons here. Understand that reality is a game. You are here to find the clues, to allow the universe to activate you, to catalyze you, to change direction. When you are in that fear, in that lack, and you perceive victim mentality, return to the heart. The heart is your anchor. The heart is the truth of who you are. It is love. Love is who you are. So when you feel this lack, when you feel this fear, when you feel this safety net being taken away from you, return to the heart. Remind yourself that you are the universe. Remind yourself of the abundance that is already in your life. Focus on that and focus on that feeling, on that gratitude. Cultivate that feeling of gratitude. And that will expand your abundant frequency within you. You then code your energy. You code your biology. You create changes in your very brain. You rewire the brain to perceive the abundance in your reality. To start seeing the glass fall. Half full, not half empty. But it takes, we would say, practice for you to consciously change these beliefs within you. And it is okay if you're in fear. You're having a human experience. And to have a human experience is to experience lack. But understand lack is an illusion. Lack is not who you are. So what abundance do you see in your reality? Focus on that. And as you focus on that, opening your heart, cultivating that gratitude for the abundance you already have, you will see the abundance increase in other areas of your life. It'll ask you to step forward. It'll ask you to be vulnerable to take inspired actions that perhaps might be challenging for you. That's how abundance works. It's about making the non-tangible tangible in your actions. Many of you receive those thoughts, those inspired actions, but you disregard them because you ask yourself, who am I to take this action? You might question if you have the right conditions to take a certain action, and then you shut it down. Or you might think you are not worthy enough. There are many beliefs that might pinch you off from the passion and the courage within you to take that inspired action. So it's about you laying the groundwork here. Raising your perception of self, reminding yourself that you are worthy of abundance. That you are abundant. It's about increasing your perception of self love and self worth because that's what abundance is. You cannot have abundance flow to you if you do not perceive yourself in the full point of self-love if you judge yourself if you see yourself is lacking in some way then the universe will respond to that and lack will be manifest in your reality to reflect your beliefs here and how you see yourself in your reality love is who you are abundance is love so turn that love inwards and when you can love you, all aspects of you, by practicing acceptance, reflect that outside of you. What love can you see manifest in your reality? Focus on that. You'll be conditioned to focus on the lack. And as you focus on the lack, 
you create more separated dimensions of self. You disconnect to the oneness of life, to the, to the unconditional divinity within you. You are here to unite the separated aspects of self through love, through acceptance. And we know it might be challenging for you to face those inner shadows, to do that inner work, to ask yourself those challenging questions. But that is how you unite the separated aspects of you and return home to love. And when you can be in unity with yourself, you'll attract more manifest. You'll attract more manifested abundance into your reality. You have the power to manifest all that you desire. But is your desire out of fear or out of love? If your desire is out of fear, then the universal laws will manifest that. And you'll manifest more perceptions of lack. Understand there are many soul lessons in all things. So choose love. Choose acceptance and you receive more abundance into your reality, dear ones. Do you have any questions today, dear ones? Yes, hi. Um, really nice to meet you. I have a personal question. Um, I was born on 15th August 88. So it's like 15 08 88. And I've been perceiving eight as infinity, as, you know, um, infinity as an abundance. So I've discovered this a few years ago, and I always thought to myself, oh, you are infinite. Look, you're actually born on a date that says you're infinite. So in as humans, we, we correlate numbers to infinity, to abundance, and things like that. So I'm wondering what particular quality of abundance that I need to um, learn or experience in my life as Shazy in this form because I'm born like I was born on an infinite time so I call myself I'm infinite to work towards that uh, perception or work towards that uh, to making that experience whole but what qualities of abundance do I need to work on in my life, personally. D1. The aspect of abundance, the infinity, as you say, is that at times you wish to control that in your reality. Yes, you are all limitless beings, but at times you wish to control that in certain ways with perhaps certain decisions you make in relations to career, certain aspects of the material world that you like to have around you and you like to attribute certain conditions to your happiness. That if you have a certain things that can then allow you to be happy, that allows you to feel then more complete, desirable, powerful if you have these certain manifested conditions but you are abundant regardless of what is manifest in your reality and certain we would say conditions in your reality it assists you in some point because it allows you to feel more secure such as your work But we would ask you, are you following your passions or are you more following the control of abundance to then make you feel more powerful and joyful? Have you disregarded your own passions? The calling within you over you feeling a sense of safety in your reality through abundance it would ask you to reflect on that understand there is no wrong and there is no right it's about you asking yourself what are the reasons why you take certain actions and why you have certain conditions in your reality 
Was it from a point of love, from a point of following your heart, or was it from a point of fear, a point of control? If you want to allow the universe to flow through you in a more effortless way, to manifest certain conditions that perhaps you did not think of, that you perhaps did not want to control, it's about letting go of the bar you set for yourself and others by letting go of the control. You have certain beliefs about how certain things should be, how we would say that in the material world, how that should show up in your reality. But understand even the material objects is energy. And it's not so much about these objects and conditions, it's the meaning you place to it. So what is your meaning? to the certain manifested conditions in your reality, whether it is a job, whether it is certain objects, whether it is a certain lifestyle, what is the meaning behind it? Have you asked yourself honestly? Reflect on this. Know that you are worthy of happiness, worthy of love, without the need of having to control certain conditions in your reality. You are love. All that is is love. As you go within and follow your heart, allow your heart to, to lead you. We would say there were some aspects of the divine masculine that you are attaching to. And we understand that you are exploring deeper aspects of your heart and you are learning to trust more and let go more. We understand this. You understand this. But have you led from your heart center? The ways in which you acquire abundance. Is it from a point of love, from a point of inspiration, from a point of passion? Or is it from a point of necessity? A point of thinking, this is what society requires of me. This is what my lifestyle requires of me. Or is it truly aligned to my purpose, truly aligned to my passion? truly aligned to my heart. It's the meaning you place on the actions, but understand your journey is unique. There is no right and there is no wrong way to explore this. It's just you being able to open yourself more up to the flow of the universe by you allowing yourself to let go of certain boundaries, certain perceptions of what, how things should be manifested and just allowing the universe to flow through you the way it's supposed to, the way you chose, by choosing love, by choosing acceptance, by being guided from your heart. Really, we would say cultivating your heart intelligence here. What is your heart telling you to do? Sometimes the mind might get in the way. We understand this. You are having a human experience. So it's about trusting the journey. You are exactly where you're supposed to be in this part of your journey. You're asking the questions. You're going deeper within. So understand here. Abundance is who you truly are. To get behind the beliefs of abundance is to look at the meaning you've placed on it and how that relates to you. So my heart's telling me to just have fun and enjoy life and keep exploring, like traveling, that brings me joy. Like just do whatever that brings you joy. But I can't travel if I don't have money, you know? <laughs> I can't keep exploring and do the things I love doing if I um, don't have a secure job that feeds all the joy, all the things that bring me joy, you know, all the adventurous thing I want to do. So is it about being having a balance and not just going one extreme and the other extreme, but just having a balance of both the secure um, way of earning money and also on the side following your passion? 
understand there is no there is no wrong way in how you explore abundance but understand it's about attachments that you have attachments to how you should travel how you should explore if you can let go of attachments you can still explore you can still follow your passions but perhaps it's going to be in different ways that perhaps you didn't perceive so understand that the perception of lack will allow you to explore other ways of traveling and then it will open up you up to different pathways that you have not explored before so understand everything is for you and we understand that you live in a society where where money pays the bills where it allows you to have a certain lifestyle but there's only one aspect of abundance true abundance flows to you in all its forms if you can follow your heart follow your passions financial abundance is a byproduct of you following your passions by exploring your purpose why you were here by you exploring the guidance that comes to you and you might control it and you might actually manifest abundance in certain forms but there might be other areas of your life where you do not perceive this abundance but if you allow the universe to flow through you by asking yourself what you truly want not what society wants what you truly want from point of love knowing that every activity that you do from a heartfelt place is intentional so yes it might mean you're wanting to to work on your passion project maybe work that's more aligned to your passion there's nothing wrong with you having a quote normal job there's nothing wrong with this if this allows you to have abundance then that is perfect for you but we understand are you disregarding part of your purpose to allow you to have a uh, we would say a secure financial abundance coming into you so it's about you doing what your heart is calling you to do whatever choice you choose it'll be perfect so just trust your intuition follow the heart follow the heart's calling if you disregard the calling of your heart then the universe will respond by saying that you are not ready for certain levels of abundance because you are not ready to take that step so if you are ready to take that step then the universe will set up the conditions to allow you to take that step it will require you to explore the unknown it will ask you to be vulnerable but the power is you being in that vulnerable state of being not knowing what's going to come tomorrow or the next day or the next day trusting the power of your heart trusting the inner knowing within you knowing that it's just a game here it's just an experience there is no wrong turn you can take it is all part of your evolution it is all part of your human experience here human experience is to explore themes of abundance because that allows you to be catalyzed it allows you to explore different dimensions of you which you have not loved that you have repressed it's giving you opportunities to expand in unexplored areas can you see the magic in that can you see the magic in your journey it is for you in every single way do you want thank you can i ask about time um i have a perception that maybe it's the um, aspect of, of the masculine that um we perceive that time is um, precious and uh, you need to get things done in a certain 
time and be productive and all that stuff, but also um, that the human body ages and uh, eventually dies with time. Um, yeah, do you have any insight into that? The perception of time is also related to your perceptions of abundance. If, if there is a lack of mentality, you might perceive there is a lack of time, but time is not linear. Again, if you there is attachment to duality consciousness, you perceive abundance in a linear form and you perceive time to be in linear form. Time is not linear. And it's about you when you receive the guidance to do so. It's about knowing in that moment that the universe is setting up the perfect conditions in that moment for you to take action. This is why when you're in a point of inspiration, you might be more productive during that time, even though in a human dualistic perception of time, it might only be a, a short amount of time in terms of linear time, but you would have got a lot of, we would say, projects done perhaps and high productivity rates. It's because you are acting on nonlinear time, you are receiving the guidance and the inspiration to take certain actions. So this is why you do not have to struggle to attain certain results from a point of that linear time model. Because if you wait for that inspiration, when you truly take actions, when you're inspired, you bypass linear time, then you connect to universal time. You can see the evidence for yourself in your own life. Have you, do you have this evidence, do you want? When you have been in a, a high productive mode, in a point of inspiration, can you reflect on that? Yes, yes um, I have such times. Um, I think I've been uh, getting away from it lately, but uh, I know it's happened off and on. So understand there is nothing that you have to do. It's about being present. If you are present, you will receive higher clarity of the guided steps. If you're in the present moment, you access the inner portal, your heart portal. If you can cultivate frequencies of love, you further open that heart portal. And that's then when you have the clarity of which steps to take in that moment. And it might not be in linear time. It might ask you to start a project and in the next moment to start something else. But if you're attached to how things should manifest, how things should be created, then you then you would say you, you, you pinch yourself off from those conditions being presented to you, from the, the guidance being presented to you to allow things to unfold in the most magical way, in the most effortless way. So it's about also changing your perspectives to the perception of linear time. Just as you're an abundant universe within, time is also abundant. Linear time is only a perception of duality everything relates to your perception of consciousness and how you're attached to duality and oneness consciousness in your everyday reality and not just perceiving it but embodying it being love in action the human body is also aligned to consciousness you cannot change one thing without the other the more you attach to duality consciousness, the more your body will follow along that pattern. Your body is energy. You know that there are people that you see that seems to be very youthful. They don't seem to age. It's because of their vibration. Your genes, your very cells of your body all correlates to your frequency correlates to coherence between the heart and the mind. Fear ages. The more that you explore fear and separation, 
your body will also follow along that pattern and honor that journey of duality. So understand that everything is within you. And there is always a correlation to how you perceive yourself in your reality. All is frequency. And you're being guided every step of the way if you're in the present moment. So perhaps you might have a thought for you to do a certain action. You might be so guarded, you might think it's unrelated, but if you were to take that action in that spine moment, it will set a, a, ch a chain reaction, so to speak. And you'll then be in that momentum of energy and being in that momentum will take you to certain explorations where you'll be able to complete certain tasks, be able to manifest more abundance in the ways that is required for your journey. So it's about that perception of having limited time and replacing that with limitless time. For you are the universe. Time is nonlinear. You are here and existing in many dimensions at once. The multiverse. You are existing far beyond your human comprehension point. Who you truly are is limitless. And all those dimensions in which you are existing has manifested that abundance. That has manifested well-being, the abundance of well-being. The abundance and all you desire is already existing. And you can attract that dimension into the present now if you're vibrational match to it. And sometimes this guidance might come to you in an unexpected way. Perhaps you might perceive it to be your imagination. It could be a feeling. It could be a, a, a number, we would say. If your beliefs are around certain numbers, meaning certain messages, then maybe the universe will be presented to you with guidance in forms of numbers. Perhaps it is thoughts, perhaps it's feelings, perhaps it's through songs, other messages. The universe works with you in accordance to your belief systems. But yes, it will appear as your own thoughts. And that's why you might disregard them. So just trust in the guidance. Be in a point of being malleable where you can focus on your inspiration in that moment. Yet, if you are inspired to take another action or to pause a certain activity, go into the next thing. Allow yourself to be malleable to go into that direction, to change direction, to change focus. We would say for you to, to really tap into nonlinear time is to understand that concept in your work. You would say that you'll be conditioned to complete projects and work in a linear way. But the universe is not linear. So if you can be more malleable in that perception of getting certain things done, whether it is work-related, health-related, passion-related, whatever it is, if you can understand that you might be taken from one place to another place, it might not make sense. It might feel broken up. But understand this is giving you evidence of your multidimensionality. Allow yourself to go wherever the current takes you, even if it's somewhere completely different to where you started. And understand that if you have certain attachments to certain work or uh, certain avenues of abundance that relates to your identity, and you are very attached to your identity, we would say there might be some extra challenges there and for you to letting go of those attachments and for you to flow with the universe. So this is a process of unlearning, but in the process of unlearning, it's a process of acceptance and surrender, being vulnerable. You cannot flow with the full force of the universe if you do not surrender to it. We understand it's part of the human experience to have many controls about how you should flow in the stream. Certain conditions in the stream. Perhaps you want to control how the water should look, how the stream should look. Should there be rocks along the way? Should your stream flow upwards or downwards? What is the path of the stream? 
There are many conditions that one likes to place on this as part of the human experience. It's about surrendering, detaching, and you will be led every step of the way by trusting your heart. Trust that knowing within you. For you to trust that knowing, you need to first elevate your perception of self-worth and self-love. And when you can anchor yourself in your self-love and self-belief, you then start to trust more the guidance that comes to you because then you'll know that you're worthy to take that step. You'll know that you're capable to take that first step. And you'll be more comfortable in having that safety net taken away from you, the perception of a safety net. Because then you will know you'll always be taken care of. Because all of you are. The universe always provides you exactly what you need in each moment. It is the projection of the future in which causes you anxiety and which is then to control the conditions of how abundance should flow to you. Or perhaps it is memories and experiences of your past and you have a, a belief, a fear that history will repeat itself based on past experiences. So there, so understand that dimensions can influence the flow of abundance to how you exist in your present reality. And this is why the present moment is so powerful. It attaches you from those limit, those dimensions of the past and it detaches you from those anxieties in the future. Understand that those future, the futures have not happened yet. There are many, we would say, many different future outcomes because you are multidimensional beings. You are not supposed to know what's going to happen in step two and step three. You can control it. This will make you feel more secure. But if you really want the flow of the universe to express it's full magic through you. Then all you need to know is step one. And step one is that inspired guidance. And just to head in that direction. You might not even receive the insight for the completion of step one. It's about moving towards it, feeling your way, feeling your way through reality. It's a new operating system. And we know this can be challenging. Because society has been conditioned to explore reality through the mind, through control, through duality. You as a collective are now exploring oneness in a more elevated way. It's a new operating system that you are now all working with. So it takes time to get used to this new operating system. This operating system is filling your way through reality, trusting through the heart. Not what about what you should be doing, what you think you should be doing. It's about connecting to your heart through your breath, surrender, vulnerability. It's the rebalancing of the divine feminine masculine consciousness within each and every one of you. We understand this might feel strange to you. And it might trigger fear within you because it's asking you to let go of the old to allow the new. But you are ready for it. You are built for this. You are here because you are the advanced master teachers here. You will not be here otherwise. You have all the technologies within you to trust and allow the universe to flow through you, which you co-created. Because you are the universe and everyone in your reality is honouring the role which you chose to play here, which you chose to explore pre-birth. So surrender to the love of who you are. Love. By aligning to love, self-love, this frequency will guide you every step of the way. Trusting who you are, trusting the knowing. And then you'll see magic for yourself. Do you want? Thank you so much. Is there any other questions before we finish here today?
Understand you one that you are love. You are truly abundant in every single way. Look at your beliefs in relations to lack of abundance. This is trigger fear in you. Can you be at peace with lack of abundance? Can you change your perceptions to lack of abundance? And then focus on the abundance you do have. Cultivate the feeling of gratitude. Open your heart. If you feel gratitude, you open yourself up to receive from the universe. Gratitude is like an antenna. You allow more manifesting to occur when you're in a vibration of gratitude and joy. What brings you joy? Focus on your passions. That energy of joy and gratitude encodes your being, codes your DNA, codes your light body. It shifts your frequency. And you allow more guidance to come to you on what steps to take to create more abundance in your life. No matter what conditions present itself to you, you have always something to be grateful for. So go practice that. Reflect on what's abundant in your life. Really feel the gratitude. Uses heart energies to accelerate the manifestation process. Know that you're worthy of love. And because you're worthy of love, you're worthy of abundance. Abundance is your birthright. So trust the universe is providing you exactly what you need to explore for your journey here. It is with love that we come through today. To remind you of the love that you are and the power that you are. Until next time, farewell. Mm-hmm.